It's near perfect glass. It's the best mirror that we've ever made. Can we actually the thing that Einstein like, said we say that do. Einstein couldn't do? Can we actually do this? Okay. Rainer Weiss starts thinking about it. He, he comes up with this idea of the interferometer. Okay. Okay. Which is really what LIGO's um, design is today. The idea is you've got an you've got an L shaped instrument where I have light moving in this direction and light moving perpendicular. It's the same setup that Michelson Morley used back in the late 1800s to show that light was moving in the same speed in both directions, regardless of an ether and all this other stuff. That same thing, what if we just made it big, mm -hmm. okay? It took five years to build the buildings in Livingston and Hanford in Washington and Louisiana, where you know, you've got these three kilometer long tunnels Right, and the tunnels are so long they have to be kept completely straight that they're accounting for the curvature of this right. of the Earth, right. right? Where they have to actually go under a little bit and and then get over, right? Yes. Um, in the entire tunnel, you got to create a vacuum that's better than outer space. Mm -hmm. In the entire three-kilometer tunnel, mm -hmm. right? All of the stuff was completely brand new. Right. You had to create the best mirror of all time to have these laser right. interferometers where the laser is going down both and then bouncing back. That mirror needs to be near perfect. Mm -hmm. And it is near perfect. It's near perfect glass. It's the best mirror that we've ever made. This mirror, if you left it ringing, right? Not that you would want to do this, but like if you like rang it and had it like vibrate, that thing would vibrate for a hundred million times before, before actually stopping. stopping. <sighs> because the, the there's nowhere for the energy to go, go in so this it vacuum. Self -propagating yeah. Itself. So it just stays within itself and becomes this like perfect spring pendulum thing that just vibrates, right? So you've got to create all of these new technologies, right? Just to create the environment. Just to create the environment. And finally, in like 2001, you had LIGO in its first iteration. Um, this is when the technology is there to find, if you're lucky, gravitational waves. 